Now let's talk about fragrance wheels and uh, fragrance wheel was basically uh, an idea of I think uh, Michael Edwards and he started uh, this. So let me basically uh, show you this right. So fragrance wheel is basically um, um, a wheel that talks about different uh, fragrance categories right and you know the broad category of fragrances uh, that are there right. We'll start from the bottom most which is mostly the uh, common area that you would be knowing which is basically fresh fragrances right. Fresh fragrances are typically in four categories that you would see. You will see aromatic fragrances that have got um, uh, let's say lavender, let's say you know uh, aromatic kind of smells like uh, powdery elements that will give you like a talcum powder kind of an element. Uh, lavender could be a good uh, example of that. That's generally in the case of aromatic uh, fragrances. You will see that you know it's not defined by one type generally your fragrance will have multiple things into it uh, in the notes in the scent profile but the predominant nature of that particular fragrance is what we are trying to capture by understanding what is an aromatic fragrance uh, i would say typically any lavender type of fragrance which is your de uh, deorum intense could be a you know, good example that could fit into that kind of a category next element is citrus now citrus is basically you know this this are basically fresh fragrances in fact most fragrances have got uh, citrus elements right now citrus elements could be very very different right so citrus elements could be lemon it could be lime now lemon and lime itself are very different because lime is more stronger more uh, tangier but lemon is a little more softer right then you have grapefruit which is a version of uh, an, in a citrus fruit which has got a sour element it's got a freshness element then you have uh, orange which is blood orange or or, you know mandarin orange different oranges have got different scent profile but then again oranges are another way of uh, bringing a citrus element right so these are citrus uh, category now citrus elements or citrus uh, uh, note is generally the top note in many cases because i think it lasts uh, uh, you know for a few uh, fewer minutes while uh, you know some notes are uh, longer right so that is something that we will also know so citrus uh, are basically uh, any fragrances that have got uh, uh, grapefruit orange um, lemon lime you know this kind of uh, element right so that is into citrus water now water is uh, a very interesting note because this again is into the fresh category where you will have like sea water or marine like the smell of sea like the smell of sea salt right these kind of fragrances are into this category uh, which is basically water right now in water what basically also happens is that you will uh, have fragrances like like david of cool water for example it's an excellent case uh, of a fragrance because this has got marine notes this has got watery notes this has got also a lot of sage and all of that right so uh, which is also an, another aromatic uh, 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 composition so that kind of fits very very well into this uh, category right so within uh, fresh you also have green right now green are basically herbaceous notes right like for example performs the mali that i was talking to you about which is coriander which is sea, uh, you know sage uh, which is uh, green uh, leafy elements like grass all those kind of fragrances fall under under this a good example also i think can i think uh, i think uh, terde hames also is a good example uh, but i would say that uh, greenly of bazinga i mean uh, performs the mali greenly or bazinga is a very good example of a green fragrance uh, ralph lauren green again is same thing so generally green fragrances will have uh, some amount of spice elements to it to kind of you know give you that body and all of that so they are slightly on the greener side of grass uh, leafy elements like you know a good example would also would be to look at the wild stones green okay to give you an idea you know how that particular fragrance opens up so those are green fragrances then of course you have fruity fragrances like you know uh, uh let's say uh, bright peach which is a fruity fragrance or hugo boss bottled is a fruity fragrance fragrances that have got fruits like apple uh, lychee blackcurrant plums you know the fragrances that will bring out more of that fruity vibes into that particular fragrance doesn't necessarily will uh, you know doesn't necessarily smell exactly like a fruit but then they bring that uh, uh, you know uh, scent profile into it the, but along with a woody base to it or something it brings a very very different category right so that's a very nice way of uh, you know trying to understand what are fresh fragrances which is basically your aromatic your citrusy your watery your green then of course your uh, fruity fragrances are typically what you see in the fresh category of fragrances uh, and fresh fragrances are typically for day wear okay <clears throat> they are good for office wear 
uh, they are good for summer wear and all of that so they really kind of you know help you with that uh, uh, wheel so it kind of you know works very well as to when you kind of wear them now with regards to fresh fragrances one of the challenges has always been the lasting so fra uh, fresh fragrances generally typically last around 4 hours 5 hours at maximum if you're getting actually about 5 hours on a fresh fragrance is actually very very good because most fragrances will do about three to four hours. You know, your uh, Versace Dylan Blue or uh, Light Blue Intense, all of them kind of, you know, are in the same thing. Uh, Blue de Chanel, all of that, right? Now, Blue de Chanel is actually a, uh, though it's a fresh fragrance, it's, it falls under the category of blue fragrances. Now, blue fragrances are one category of fragrances that was started because of Blue de Chanel because they bought in a category of fragrance specifically, which is uh, like fresh fragrances, but with a little bit of a different things, right? Because that fragrance, for example, has got insane and it's got citrusy notes and all of that right but it brings out a very very nice good aroma uh, good scent profile and then you have a lot of blue fragrances like dear sauvage okay uh, versace dylan blue uh, uh, you know a uh, um, all of that right so they fall into that category while they are kind of you know fresh fragrances the next category of fragrances don't need much uh, description like floral fragrances if you look at uh, floral fragrances are fragrances that are made up of flowers right now uh, you have rose your your typical floral element your rose your jasmine your uh, uh, labdanum your galbanum all of these fragrances uh, that are coming together uh, which will give you that like sweet uh, slightly sweet florally element kind of fragrances these are generally floral element now soft florals on the other side are fragrances that have got floral elements much more lighter okay they are not very uh, like typical would be a floral fragrance would be a woman's fragrance but a soft floral could be a unisex fragrance as well blended with let's say wood or wood or something like that that will give you a nice uh, body to it that could be a good example of a floral fragrance okay or a soft floral fragrance that you see Floral oriental. Now, before going to so, uh, floral oriental or let's say soft floral, uh, soft oriental, we need to understand what are oriental fragrances. Now, oriental fragrances are typically fragrances that have got a lot of sweet spices to it, like, you know, your cinnamon, your cardamom, okay, your um, uh, elaichi, okay, or your nutmeg. You know, these are, uh, you know, scent profiles or components that give a fragrance that sweet, uh, you know, spice element. While typically when we say spices, we could think about black pepper, a uh, pink pepper, uh, spices that have got um, uh, hotness attached to it, right? Like like red chili, but red chili is not generally used. So you have a lot of peppery uh, zing that kind of brings about with pepperiness or sage, all of that, or coriander, for example. Uh, these uh, bring out cumin, for example, brings out a lot of uh, warm, spicy element, right? Now, uh, uh, on the contrary side, uh, sweet spices like cinnamon, uh, cardamom, uh, all of that, or nutmeg, for example, bring out sweetness, right? So they're mostly your oriental notes or your oriental spices right so if you think about what is the oriental fragrance fragrance that have got these things like for example Latafa's uh, Kaid, which is a cardamom uh, heavy fragrance is basically a good example of what an oriental fragrance would be because because this has got cardamom and it's got oud and all of that, this is a good example of a oriental fragrance. Uh, you know what a oriental fragrance would sound like. Mostly, your Middle Eastern fragrances are typically in this category because they will have oud, they will have a lot of spices like saffron, cinnamon, and all of that. So that makes it for you know oriental uh, fragrances. So uh, floral orientals are basically uh, floral fragrances which have got oriental mixed together. Soft fragrances are probably fragrances which have got let's say amber for example in it and which give it a nice ambery vibe to it which mildly is uh, not sweet but uh, at the same time it's got a very ambery element to it that could be uh, a good combination a lot of oriental fragrances have got uh, a good uh, you know woody touch to it like you know sandalwood let's say rosewood or agarwood typically is used in uh, you know uh, uh, oriental fragrances because that gives that nice element of sweetness and woody element together right so that transitions you to into woody notes now wood is basically uh, you know a little difficult to explain here because in wood, when you think we are thinking about sandalwood or rosewood or cedar, things of that nature, right? But actually, if you look at uh, this, could be a little different because certain fragrances like you know mossy woods, like fragrances that have got oak moss, that have got birch, like they will have that oh, you know mossy feeling to it, like you know how a vetiver uh, would give you that feeling of moss, right? Uh, green, uh, you know, uh, rainy. What is moss? Basically, moss is like when you have uh, rain, you have that green element that gives you that mossy vibe. That is basically green elements to it. So mossy woods like uh, oak moss and birch are a good example of fragrances that I've got. Like for example, Aventus. 
it's got a lot of fruity tones but it's also got the oak moss which is a hook moss heavy so some people don't like it because of the mossy notes so that could be one element of how you define a mossy wood kind of a fragrance then of course you have dry woods now dry woods could be fragrances that have that give you a very dry vibe a very powdery vibe to you uh, could be fragrances that have got leather also in it okay so fragrances that uh, are uh, you know uh, very powdery in my opinion uh, and does do not really have a lot of floral elements or citrus elements at the top notes or anything like that but only talk about uh, dry woods for example um, wood, wood would be a, I think a good example because it's got pepper at the top but then that is just a whiff but then you have rosewood ro you have sandalwood you have a cedar and wood all wood and mostly all dry wood kind of a you know a note so that's another example of you know looking at how these are aside to this of course you have notes like you have your musk which is basically animalic soft you know um, musk could be white musk are nice uh, you know actual musk could be animalic so that is again very uh, different uh, vanilla is again a very gourmand kind of a scent profile that you have again uh, which is basically a sweet spice uh, fruity elements we know so i think this covers by and large of most of the things that are there in terms of scent profile and how these are uh, these are uh, you know taken in by the nose right so let's move from uh, fragrance wheel and let's go into the next topic of fragrance pyramid